As a book conservator, I've worked on many journals and diaries and logbooks in my career, and I find them to be particularly interesting. Um, they're primary resources. They're written in the moment by the people who were there experiencing the time. I suppose they're not unlike letters, but in a somewhat different format. So one of my favorite items in this collection is this logbook. And to begin with, it, it tells us so much of the time, meaning that there was an entire industry of printing and binding that grew up focused on vessels and shipping. And one could purchase a logbook made specifically for the purpose of account keeping at sea. <clears throat> this is one of the logs of the voyage of the Charlotte A. Littlefield that Captain and Mrs. Colcord took from New York to Newcastle, Yokohama, Valparaiso, Pisagua, Talcahuano, Tome, and back to New York. The entire voyage was from 1881 to 1883, and but this volume covers only the final section of the trip from March 18, 1883, uh, when leaving Valparaiso, Chile, and ending in New York on November 2nd, 1883. I spent just a little time looking through the book simply because I liked it. It's in very good condition and interesting to look through. Um, but truth be told, the entries are, for the most part, accounts of weather and wind. Each day's first entry notes the weather. You know, the day begins with a strong gale and heavy cross sea, begins with strong breeze and squally looking weather. Um, this day, moderate breeze and fine weather. And frankly, sometimes the entries are a little repetitive. Honestly, every single day included a note that said the pumps were attended to. But as I was leafing through the book, it occurred to me, given the dates, that the day Lincoln Ross Colcord was born on ship would have been covered in this log. So we turned to the August 14th page to see what was written there. And of course, the first entry of the day is begins with strong breeze and dark gloomy sky. And not surprising, the final entry of the day reads, pumps attended to every hour, but also adds vessel making considerable more water than usual. And the other entries on the day note the stormy weather. And I realized this was the storm into which Lincoln Ross Colcord was born. And I have to admit, I was hoping to read some brief entry about the fact that a baby was born on ship that day, but there isn't anything with that. I'm sure the mate whose job it was to keep the log uh, might not have been his job to keep personal information and who knows if he even knew. Um, so I, I hope that was kept in a personal diary as well. But it was great fun to see this day's entry and connect those dots. <clears throat> 